Mastering Legacy System Remediation Legacy system remediation is nothing without a crystal clear exit strategy. What are the exit criteria for the legacy system remediation project, and how will success be measured? The exit criteria for a legacy system remediation project are critical to determine when the project has achieved its objectives and can be formally closed. These criteria should be established at the outset of the project to provide a clear direction and focus for the project team. The following exit criteria should be considered. 1. Completion of all remediation tasks, all identified legacy system issues have been remediated, and the system is functioning as expected. This includes the completion of all software updates, bug fixes, and other technical debt remediation tasks. 2. Achievement of operational stability, the legacy system has demonstrated a stable and reliable operation over a sustained period, typically three to six months, with minimal incidents and downtime. 3. User acceptance and buy-in, end users have been trained and have accepted the changes made to the system. They are able to effectively use the system to perform their job functions, and feedback indicates a high level of satisfaction. 4. Regression testing and validation. Thorough regression testing has been conducted to ensure that the remediation efforts have not introduced new defects or affected existing functionality. The system has been validated against the original requirements and user acceptance criteria. 5. Documentation and knowledge transfer. All necessary documentation has been updated to reflect the changes made to the system, and knowledge has been transferred to the operational teams responsible for supporting the system. 6. Alignment with organizational goals and objectives, the remediated system aligns with the organization's current and future goals, objectives, and strategic direction. 7. Risk reduction, the remediation efforts have significantly reduced the risk of system failure, data loss, or security breaches, and have improved overall system resilience. 8. Cost-benefit analysis. A cost-benefit analysis has been conducted to demonstrate the financial benefits of the remediation efforts, including cost savings, increased productivity, and improved efficiency. 9. Stakeholder sign-off. All stakeholders, including business owners, end-users, and IT management, have formally signed off on the project, indicating their acceptance of the remediated system. 10. Lessons learned in post-implementation review. A post-implementation review has been conducted to document lessons learned, identify areas for improvement, and provide recommendations for future projects. To measure the success of the legacy system remediation project, the following key performance indicators KPIs, should be tracked and monitored. 1. System uptime and availability. Measure the percentage of time the system is available and accessible to users. 2. Mean time between failures, MTBF, calculate the average time between system failures or incidents. 3. Mean time to recover, MTTR, measure the average time taken to resolve system incidents or failures. 4. End user satisfaction, track user feedback and satisfaction through surveys, focus groups, or other means. 5. Incident rate. Monitor the number of incidents or errors reported by users or detected through automated monitoring tools. 6. System performance metrics. Track system response times, throughput, and other performance metrics to ensure they are within acceptable limits. 7. Cost savings. Calculate the financial benefits of the remediation efforts, including cost savings, increased productivity, and improved efficiency. 8. Risk Reduction Metrics – Monitor and track key risk indicators, such as the number of high-risk vulnerabilities, to measure the effectiveness of the remediation efforts. 9. Knowledge Retention and Transfer – Track the effectiveness of knowledge transfer activities, such as training and documentation, to ensure that operational teams are equipped to support the system. 10. Return on Investment – ROI Calculate the ROI of the remediation project to demonstrate the financial value of the investment. By establishing clear exit criteria and KPIs, the legacy system remediation project can be measured and evaluated to ensure that it has achieved its objectives and delivered the desired outcomes.